Hey everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. This is our current situation. So, my husband and I are on a very, very well needed vacation. We are both completely, uh, what's the word, burnt. Yeah, we're pretty much burnt. So we are here and I did get some jewelry. So let's have a look at what I got. Thanks for coming. I got this thing. I thought this was pretty. I mean, it's clearly not old. You can tell it's not old. And it's marked AJC. There it is, AJC. I keep finding that. That's like my new thing I keep finding all the time. The other pieces I have are kind of silly and stuff, but this one is elegant and fancy and, and very lovely. So I got that one. Now I got this. I guess that's red coral barrel clasp. I have this necklace with the bracelet. It wasn't a lot of money. I don't know if that's really gonna have any resale value. But look what I found. This is unbelievable, I think. This is antique. And that's clearly some sort of a peacock art glass cabochon, as you can see. Now, I don't know what this is. Now, my best guess, and this was uh, with some help from some people on Facebook, is that this part, whoa, what kind of bird is that? This part, what is that? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, so some folks on Facebook helped me out and we're thinking that this possibly was to hang from a chatelaine and then something would hang from here, that kind of thing. Now, when I bought this, I paid a dollar for it, by the way, but when I bought this, the woman told me that her grandmother wore it in her hair. That's what she thought. But you know, these things are not always reliable. It does seem like that, like you would put this you know, at the top of your head, like at the back of your, you'd have a bun, but it doesn't really have the right hardware for that. So yeah, I'm not sure. I know that it's, it's just incredibly beautiful, whatever it is, that's for sure. So I'm very, very excited about this. Just really not sure what it is, but yeah, maybe a Chatelaine piece. If you know, I mean, what do you think? Weigh in on it. If you have any information or if you have any guesses, I would be curious. It's lovely, no matter what it is. It's certainly an antique also. I found these at a yard sale and uh, they are not 14 karat gold. They are pretty though. I could kind of tell they weren't because you can really tell those aren't real diamonds, you know? Uh, but I thought those were kind of pretty earrings. So I, I got those just, you know, just in case really. I just thought maybe they would be real. And oh, here's a couple of pretty items actually. So I don't want to take this out because it's new in the package, but what a lovely sterling silver cross is this? And as you can see, this is a new thing. And I think it's from that TV show, um, Gem TV or whatever. I think that, because I got a lot of those boxes from her. But that's really pretty. I hope you can see how pretty that cross is. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I really, really love this. So I got that, this was a dollar. And then I got this really, really pretty thing. Look at this, it's a necklace. I guess I just have it kind of doubled up right now. A heart and a key. Those certainly seem like those are real diamond chips. Let's see if we can see the mark here. 925 and then I don't, I don't know what that is. If you know, tell me, not sure. But this seemed to be quite lovely, I think. I really like this toggle. I like that the toggle's in front. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, oh, does that not work? Oh. Huh, okay, that's interesting. So that doesn't work. I guess the catch is back here. Yeah, okay. Lobster claw, a little bit tangled. I have to untangle that. That's really nice, actually. I gotta just try to figure out who this is exactly. Lovely item, I think. Look at this really nice brooch. Isn't that nice? Look at all the movement. I love this. Very interesting sort of knotted thing with the tassel. And it is signed Napier right there. I love Napier stuff. They were based in Connecticut, at least in late, later years. Meriden, Connecticut, I, I believe. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of loving on this. That great? Lots of movement. Very cool piece. Then I got this set. This is all daisies, check these out. I love daisy jewelry. I've sold a lot of them. I 
And I probably sold too many because now I don't really have any left for myself, but that's okay. I'll always find more. But these are scatter pins. How cute are they? Aren't those nice? I love those. I love that they're little. Um, you know, you could wear these on your the, the cuff of your blouse or on your collar or your lapel or anywhere you want, your pocketbook, you know, your jean jacket. <laughs> and here's some matching earrings. And these are signed, are they? Hmm. Who are you? Let's see if we can do this without my loop. Oh, Excesso Craft. Okay, yeah, that's a collectible. That is a collectible name brand. Let's see if these are the same. Yeah, I bought these from the same place. These do definitely come together. I always think it's interesting when, you know, one piece is marked and the other is not. So I have the two scatter pins, the earrings, and then I got this. This is actually extra nice. Now, I've never seen anything like this before. Not quite. It's kind of interesting because it has this sort of um, ornate bracelet part. Like, this is all... And those aren't even daisies, I don't think. Yeah, I just think it's it's kind of interesting. Let's see if this one says Excessive Craft, too. I mean, it certainly is. No, not marked. Interesting. What a really nice Perreur this is. Love it. Totally, completely, positively goes together as a set. Love it. So I think I paid five for this whole this whole set right here. I thought that was a fantastic price. Love those. And then I got this crazy thing. Look, it's sort of like, what is it? Is it a flower? Is it a sea urchin? It's just pretty crazy. This looks very 1960s maybe 50s, probably 60s though. I just love this. I thought at first, I mean, to me, it really has a Trafari vibe to it. I believe Trafari is one of the few designers though that it has to be signed Trafari, like they didn't make unsigned pieces, I believe. So that would rule out Trafari, but it could be some other designer and be unsigned. It certainly is nice though, either way. I love that. Now I think this is quite interesting. It's got some AB rhinestones and then these sort of not rhinestones, these sort of crystal beads going around that are also AB. Isn't that pretty? I really like this a lot. I think this was 50 cents. Oh, and then this one too. I got these at the same yard sale. I like this one too. I've, I think I have this one. I think I might have several of these already actually, but I thought those were pretty sparkly and nice, right? So let's see what I got in here. First of all, I got this fabulous ring that I love to death. It is signed R, R and B, I think. Let's see if I can get it. Let's find it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, R and B Sterling. Yeah, this one is signed R and B Sterling. Now, I think that is uh, Native American, possibly. This is really beautiful. It's even beautiful on the inside. Look at that. You know, they took the time. And it fits me, too. And I really think it's, it's really pretty. I really like that. It's very comfortable, too. It's interesting that it, it kind of looks like it would be adjustable, but it isn't. It's just sort of a, I guess this is called a wrap ring but this sort of doesn't, it doesn't budge. But I thought that was very, very nice. I paid 15 for this in a pawn store. So not super, super cheap on this, but I, I really do love it. I just, it's very comfortable too. It's sort of smooth inside, if you know what I mean. I love that. And I got this at the pawn store too. And he told me it was just costume. So he charged me two for it, but I don't know, it does say Sterling. Sterling, oh yeah. So this has a C and an A with an arrow through it. That stands for Carl Art. I have other Carl Art pieces. I love this. I think it's very pretty. It's really in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition. Now I think sometimes Sterling doesn't tarnish like this type of a thing. I think they might've put some sort of a coating on the Sterling. That was something, I know I've seen that before, so I'm wondering if that's why it it's, didn't tarnish. And that's why the guy said, look, it says sterling, but I don't think it is because it has no tarnish. So I was like, oh, all right. 
So I got it for a really cheap price and I think it's very pretty. I bought this, I thought this was sort of interesting. I like the cattails, a sort of tri-colored faux gold. And the cattails, they have like a kind of a flower motif. Yeah, those are pretty, right? I don't know, I thought it was sort of pretty. It's not marked at all, but I thought that was pretty lovely. That was a dollar. And then I picked up a couple of pieces of sterling. This one and that, what does that say? Thailand, okay. We got this one and this one and this one. Those are all sterling. So I got those. These were a dollar each, probably less because then I think they did a deal because I bought other stuff, you know. And then I just grabbed this. I thought, I don't know, maybe that's gold or something, but it isn't. Just costume. So um, just took a chance. Sometimes you just grab them and they end up, you know, being being something good. So I don't rule it out. And I got this Lucinda pin. I guess this is the, the red hat ladies, right? When I'm old, I shall wear purple and all of that. I love that poem. So that's cute. I have a whole bunch of these now, so I'm gonna lot them together and sell them as soon as I have a second. And then I got some interesting sterling. I got these Cocapelli earrings with a little bit of turquoise. I think those are very pretty. I got that and then didn't pay a lot, you know? And then I got these. Now, I, I think what these are, I think this is for when you have a double piercing in your ear, I think. Is that what this is? I think so. I don't even know if these are supposed to go together. They don't match or anything. This is also like a little bit tangly. There it goes, okay. Right, so I think you put this one in the lobe and then this one goes up the ear or vice versa. I think that's what this is. Let me know if you know. But this is pretty nice, sterling. It is marked uh, somewhere around. I don't wanna take it off the card, but it, they are marked sterling. So I thought that was pretty nice. This is another Napier. I actually found a bunch of Napier recently. I don't have it all here, but uh, this is pretty nice. I love the, I don't know, just like the, the form of it, the way this wraps around. I think this is very nicely designed. It's got a very cool look to it. Make sure we can see that Napier. Napier Sterling, yep. Here's a nice little enamel pin. It's copper. I love that. I have a lot of enamel stuff like this. I really love it. Very mod. Now I saw this necklace and uh, I really liked it a lot. I like these beads a lot. Those are probably garnets, right? Freshwater pearls. Um, I think those just might be a lucite. And these are stone. I don't know what those are. It's agate, not sure. Uh, but what I really liked about it is I really like this closure here and it, it is vermeil. It closes like that. So I thought that was very pretty. You could twist it, sort of do the whole torsade thing or not. But I thought that was a very pretty pretty necklace. It's not nice. That seemed like that was a quality piece, I think. I'll show you another necklace too that I just got. This one. This one's really nice. I love the colors and the shapes. Isn't that interesting? They're sort of different shapes. And even this, look, we'll take a look at how that closes, but that's gonna hang down. I really like this. There's a little bit of loss here and there to some of the ABs, not too bad, not marked, but it, uh, I guess it's somewhat adjustable. You'd wear it kind of like that. I love this. I love the double strand, but I really love this sort of blue and purples and, oh, a little bit chipped up, yeah. All right, not, not in great condition, but I don't know. I thought there was something lovely about it for a dollar, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> I just bought this like an hour ago. I couldn't resist. Look, it's like a, it's like one of those old perfume bottles, right? And you would squeeze right here. Do you know what I mean? And there's the perfume coming out and look, Ugh, it's broken. It's so annoying. 
So anyway, she charged me a dollar for it. I couldn't resist. My next uh, jewelry sale show that I'm going to be doing shortly, actually, I think I'm going to put some pieces in like this for a very cheap price, you know, because I think some people know how to fix these things. I don't, but I was thinking about doing that. Just look for that because that is going to be happening shortly. So I got this vintage bird. I could see at this sale, um, first of all, it was a dollar, but I could see that it said something and I didn't know what. And when I got it home and I looked at it with my loop, I saw that it said sterling, which is nice. Let's see what that says. Yeah, I don't know what that mark is. I don't know if that says C F E or C D F. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to take a closer uh, look at this, but I think this is very, very pretty. And I think that has some nice age on it too. Maybe the 1940s on this really sweet little piece. Then these were a dollar. Actually, this one was really little, so she charged me 25 cents for this one and 25 cents for this one. This is a Lions Club chairman. I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was gold or not. It isn't, but I wasn't sure, and I figured maybe I could sell this for 10 bucks or something, and I think that would be great. And then I got this Air Force thing. I don't know what GOC is for Merit, 750 hours, but this seemed... I don't know, maybe World War II, not sure. So I got that, and then, I don't know what this is, R-A-W, hmm, not sure. Looks like a rolling pin, right? So I don't know what's going on with that, I'll, I'll check. Then I got this old dress clip. Um, I don't think this is Bakelite, uh, not sure. There's the patent number, so here's the clip part. I don't know. I will uh, have a look at this though, and we'll see. It was a dollar, so I thought maybe, maybe, maybe. Then I got this. This is sort of interesting, I think. I don't know how old this is. It's actually a very pretty necklace though. It kind of has that check glass look, but I'm not sure, these wooden beads and stuff. I don't know. Maybe this is not that old. Maybe this is like the 70s or something. Not exactly sure, but I do like it. Let's see if we can take a look at the clasp. Yeah, I don't know. That's not helping us much dated, is it? Pretty though. I really like it. I tried it on before. It actually looks really nice on too. So there's that. And then I got this mesh belt. Um, this was a dollar and I think this is really lovely. Now, I know that Whiting and Davis, this isn't a Whiting and Davis. I mean, if it is, it's not marked. Uh, but I know that these belts have been in fashion for a lot of decades. But something about it says 1970s or early 80s to me. I don't know. It's a really lovely mesh. It's in great condition. I just love, I love the feel of this. Here's what the other end looks like. Kind of pretty, right? I like that. Oh, I just got this one today. This was $1, and this is nice and old, isn't it? It's sort of a wire wrap thing. This is probably antique, maybe the 20s on this. Maybe Edwardian, I don't know, right? Edwardian is the early 1900s, like from 1901, from the death of Victoria to his death, which I think Edward VII's death was 1910, so I think that 1901 to 1910 is called Edwardian. I believe that is correct. Anyway, that's what this looks like. Maybe the 1910s or the 1900s, maybe as new as the 20s. Not sure. Very nice. This technique's called Japanning, when it's black like that on purpose. I don't think it's sterling. I didn't see anything marked there. I gotta take a closer look. I, I literally just walked in with these not too long ago, so I really like it. Nice old one, right? And then I got these, I don't know, <laughs> two little kind of pearl people here. Yeah, cheap, right? Kind of fun though, they're charms, I guess, or pendants. And then I guess I have one more thing, which is this. So this is quite nice, I think. I paid 20 for this. 
I paid 20 because they're new. It's a beautiful triple strand of pearls. And this is 14 karat gold. So I thought that was a pretty good price. Um, I might not have paid it if it didn't say 14, but that was the selling point to me. Can you see that? So it says 14K DIL. And yeah, these are really beautiful, beautiful pearls, I think. I really love pearls a lot. Well, what's happening? It's like too overexposed. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. There, that's a little bit better. Aren't these beautiful? Yeah, I thought this was really super nice. Well, thank you so much for coming to my video today. I appreciate it. I hope this makes you relaxed. Let's just stand over here and drink it in for a minute. Beautiful. God's country, right? Thanks again, everyone. I hope to see you soon. Cheers.